your skis. Is that a Tweety Bird? Do you want to walk on your skis? Huh? We're going to pull you, okay? Woo! Uh-oh! Oh, no. Tweety Bird, God! Tweety Bird! Tweety Bird, we found you! Okay, we should make you a little pack. This is my niece Blake and my sister Jenna and this is Blake's first time this year skiing. She skied last year so we have to get her back into it but she loves it and on the weekend she was watching me race and so that was really cool. She was telling me to go faster which I wish I did but it's really cool seeing how much she loves to ski and carry on the tradition of our family. She actually started skiing around the same time as me, one and a half, and now she's two and a little bit, so hopefully she's a ski racer and she enjoys it, but for now it's just really fun to see her playing around in the snow. And She's so young though, it's crazy that she's only two. Hold my hand. We'll go really fast. One, two. Wow. Again? How many more times? Melzinski is away. 51.83 was the first run. Just a hundredth quicker than no ants. Oh, she's in trouble. Wipes off half the speed in a couple of gates there. This won't be quick. So I could have a new leader here if she can hold it together. Finish line is very much in sight for her. And she's just getting stronger and stronger down the course. Melzinski of Canada and building on it. And Erin Melzinski, 141.73 to beat and just does it by 0.24. There's your new leader.
I grew up skiing on this little chairlift here. And then after we get good at that chairlift, we move to the one on the right. And then when we race, which I think they're, they will have, we've had some North American races here and hopefully our nationals come back. Um, we race on this one, which is, is quite steep and it continues a little bit further than you can see. But my favorite run is the furthest on the left. That's where we did a lot of our training when we were kids and spent a lot of time, but yeah, it's a pretty cool club. This trophy is the most special for me because it's my first World Cup win in Oftershwang, Germany. Um, it's so memorable standing up top of the podium. Unfortunately, my family couldn't be there, but my mom was actually here. I was here and the members were going crazy. They were so excited. Um, the crowd in the building was just so happy. Um, we actually had a race day here. And so it was just bringing back all these memories from Erin starting here and she was just on top of the world. It was just amazing watching the race early in the morning, like 3.30 in the morning. Uh, we were, I was actually watching with our puppy and our puppy was barking and howling because she could feel the excitement. It was so awesome. And Erin called me right after the race. So even though I couldn't be there, I felt very much part of it because of the family here at the Peaks and because of the phone call after. Oh, it was so good. And then they had a pizza party and ruined our dining room table. <laughs> but, um... Aaron's dad and myself were there and we were in the bleachers and the bleachers were like rocking. It was unbelievable, the crowd cheering and because it was in the States, the Americans were very much um, involved as well. And it was sunny, it was beautiful and we just felt the spirit of the, uh, the world championships. It was just amazing. It was warm out, um, great conditions. And uh, it was spectacular and the awards that night were just so memorable. We were so proud of Aaron and the team and um, we couldn't have asked for anything more special. We made history for Canada and I think it was really cool to be part of a team and to stand on top of the podium as a team. And then this trophy was interesting because again my parents, they weren't there. I was third and it was really memorable and it kind of backed up my, my win which was really nice to show that I wasn't just winning that one time, I was I was there to stay. Um, and actually my dad brought it home from Europe and he checked it in and carried it on the plane and I think a little piece broke off and went missing. Um, but it was special to have him there right after. But I actually don't know where you were when I came third that race. I was actually, I was here again because this is like our home away from home. And, um, and to see Erin on the podium again was um, really, really special and she skied so well. I could just see that um, this was the beginning of an amazing, amazing career. It's amazing how many people have stepped forward to just make such a difference in Erin's life and Erin's career as well. It's, um, it's so touching to see people go out of their way to help other people um, and uh, in sport and in uh, any other way as well. Yeah, I have an amazing community behind me and that's what's really cool that I share all of these trophies and awards with my family, of course, but also with this huge community of people that just is so supportive and a lot of those people live right here in Ontario.
having someone that's so important in my life also completely understand the Olympic journey and know what I'm going through and also know how hard it is sometimes and, and the pressure that we feel. We've been we've been dating for eight years now and yeah it's, it's definitely been interesting having a Olympian as a girlfriend. I was an Olympian myself so I traveled a lot but now I'm at home and Aaron is on the road racing a lot and yeah it's it's tough but it makes it a lot easier now that we can talk all the time on Zoom or FaceTime it's easy a lot easier when we're away we miss each other for sure but we're a little bit used to being away and so we both kind of take those times away as times to be by ourselves and work on ourselves and then when we come back together we can be a couple in together again but Lenny for sure helps me he helps carry stuff around he helps me with some of the behind the scenes things that are going on and he's definitely my rock when I'm traveling and if anything goes wrong or if things are amazing he's the first person that I call Lenny's really make sure that I see my family and that my family and my parents and sister stay an important part of my life and he's so good at dropping everything and making sure that I'm, I'm happy I get to see my family and that everything is taken care of before I go away and so I can go away calm and I can go away knowing that my family's taken care of because he's here at home and that they're happy and that they're kind of, they know what's going on without me always having to update everyone all at once. And so for me, it's really, it's really a special, it's a really a special thing and I'm so thankful for that too. And, and I think that that's something that we've evolved over the years as well. And, um, really cool yeah and it's nice to have races in the states also because you got to come home an extra time here so it's always nice to get you back okay okay go find mommy okay ready there's not many times that cross-country skiing meets the alpine races except at the olympics so yeah it's it's always cool to <laughs> have a girlfriend competing in the same olympics and we were lucky enough to have two of those so yeah for me that was that was awesome and it's always nice i came to watch a few of your races when i had time off and it's such a different sport but it's really nice to to get a get away from my sport and come watch you and yeah it's we had lots of good memories. Oh, it's special that we could both be competing in the winter and we can talk about the snow and we can talk about game plan and, and we kind of know what each other are talking about and we can kind of relate when the weather gets really cold, we can relate to each other for how cold we are or how to warm up and, and I think it's really special. I definitely struggle a little bit more with staying really positive and really on track and focused and so Lenny's helped me a lot to forget about those bad days, be proud of myself for the small successes and I think that it's something really special to have him there or call home and feel that feel that support but also he doesn't let me off easy, he really tells it like it is and for me that's really important to have someone that's so mentally strong and he has so many lessons in his career for that. Yeah, it's nice we can kind of work together and, and figure out 
a good game plan like there's no problem we can't solve like I like from my sport I learned a bunch and Aaron's sport is different so she and we work together and and we always find a good good solution for everything good game plan and yeah it's it's nice we can we can always work together both being in sports they're different sports but a lot of the time the same tricks will work between the two sports yeah and when at the last race I in training it was really soft and the snow was really difficult and in the morning I called Len anything like Lenny said there's no problem we can't solve together